in Elk Grove, the rural neighborhood of Sheldon Estates. Marks a goodbye without closure. The final moments of Edward Villasenor. A golden heart stopped beating. <laughs> Hardworking hands now rest. The 85-year-old, a beloved patriarch. God broke our hearts to prove to us that he only takes the best. Celebrating his 49th wedding anniversary last week when he was killed by a hit and run driver. I mean, we have no respect for one another anymore. And it's terrible. Edward lives down where that light post is. His family tells us he was taking the garbage cans back in when he was struck. He was drugged more than 100 feet to where the vigil is taking place. The vigil taking place just after 6 p.m. Around the same time Edward was killed on Waterman Road. A rural road where the traffic is heavy, at times fast, with minimal street lights and no sidewalk. I'll be thy name, thy kingdom come. Tonight, a glimpse of a husband, father, grandfather, and great grandfather, loved by many. My dad, like Monty said, he considered everybody family. No one was a friend, it was family. They all called him grandpa. A family holding each other closer. I love you. <laughs> love you. But still desperate for justice. To plead that they catch this person that did this to him. In Elk Grove, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News. Here is one more look at the type of SUV police are looking for. It's described as a red GM SUV, either late 1990s or early model 2000, early 2000s model with significant front end and tire damage. Investigators believe the driver may be trying to get that vehicle fixed, sold, or maybe even scrapped in the area.